The Cold War battlefield is a lethal place. If a target can be seen, it can be destroyed. Finding the enemy while keeping your main force hidden is an essential component of modern mechanized warfare. By using your reconnaissance units correctly, you can ensure the safe and effective deployment of your main force. On scenario start, the first thing a player should do is take a look at their staff briefings and intelligence report. These sections provide projections of enemy strength in the area and their location. While these reports are only an estimate, you can use them to create a plan for reconnaissance and surveillance. Both NATO and the Warsaw Pact have access to recon units, which are specially trained troops that can operate outside of their headquarters command radius without any penalties. These scouts are usually mounted in armored cars like the BRDM, helicopters like the Kiowa, IFVs like the Bradley, or even on motorcycles. They are also frequently equipped with powerful optics. These scouts are used to move ahead of your main force to find the enemy. You can detect concealed ambushes or enemy defensive lines through careful reconnaissance. Remember that to take advantage of your recon screen, you need to have your main body far enough back to have time to react. If your main force of tanks or mechanized infantry are too close to your scouts, you won't have time to change their orders to prepare for contact. Recon units will frequently take casualties when encountering resistance. Use the SOP feature to ensure that your scouts withdraw when they detect a nearby enemy or take fire. Having artillery deployed and on call can help your recon units survive by shelling revealed enemy positions. While you don't want to be reckless with your scouts, it's better to risk them than your main force. Knowing where the enemy isn't can be just as valuable as knowing where they are. Discovering an unguarded road can turn a costly frontal assault into a decisive flank attack. And knowing what routes are safe allows you to rapidly transfer troops. By using your scouts to clear terrain, you can create safe corridors to rapidly transfer units from one sector to another. Scouts are also useful in static positions. If deployed on high ground, they can observe a wide area and are difficult to detect if in cover. From these positions, they can spot targets for artillery or detect enemy movement. Good observation posts usually overlook roads or bridges that troops would use when road marching through the area or overwatch a position you plan to assault. By leveraging your reconnaissance and surveillance assets, you can place your troops where they need to be to maximize their damage and survivability.